This is a question on momentum. The key to answering this question, and most questions, is to carefully read what you are being asked to provide. What is the examiner looking for? There are clues in the question to look out for. 1. Using the information given. The information given is highlighted in pink. You therefore know you need to include at least some of this in your answer. 2. It tells you to calculate the forces on the drivers. Note the word drivers, not cars, underlined in blue. 3. It asks you to explain why a government may make it a legal requirement, underlined in brown. You now have three distinct areas to address in your answer. Before you can draw comparisons, you need to have information to draw comparisons with. Therefore, a good starting point is to calculate the force on the drivers. Do this for each car, showing you're working and providing an answer with units. When you have a question where you have two sets of data, you're expected to make comparisons to justify your answer. It will also make the explanation part of the question easier to complete. So once you've done the calculation, what conclusion can you draw from it? This is underlined in orange. To complete the question, you must reference the government. Simple statements to the point are far more effective than rambling on. To get the final mark, make sure your work is clear and well structured with correct spelling. Made with DoodleCast Pro.